Yeah, I've got some clients that like me to do um, soundscaping for them. And I, I got to do one that was really cool when we were in St. Catharines. About four years ago, just before lockdown, we went to St. Catharines for the weekend. And that was really... I'm so glad we did that. Right now, we gave Dan his gift. Yep, that's right. That's yeah, right. I wonder whatever happened to that. Oh, I'm Somebody not gonna. I'm not gonna really talk about it right now. Oh, okay. Um, he had it for a while. He did. Got a lot out of it. He really enjoyed it. Yeah, he really did. But anyway, so we were uh, we were there, and it was like I said, it was just before they shut everything down. I think it was wasn't even a couple of weeks. I think it was um, the 6th, that, that weekend that we were down there, and it was the 14th that they shut everything down. So, where we couldn't travel anywhere or do anything. So, it was really, that, that memory of that trip really sustained me through a lot of that lockdown period and stuff. No. I love going up there. But anyway, so I was walking with, we were walking with my brother and his family, and um, we went across this bridge and I just put my recorder on just for the heck of it. And because I was, I had that, um, the flat walker. But one thing about flat walkers is they're really great to get into vehicles with and stuff, but they're loud. Because they don't have any of the like wow. rubber on them or. You got this limo up. Ooh, yeah, like another limo. It's like the second, two days, two limos. We've seen a limo yesterday too. Ooh. But I got to do a loop of uh, a long loop of the um, bridge sound, and the person really, really liked it. And I really enjoyed doing it too because I got to relive that over and over. So that was fun. <laughs>